The Watchmen is a story which is well known and is very famous. DC Rebirth is an event that started about a year and a half ago, and there's a big mystery as to someone who affected the timeline. Doomsday Clock is the storyline which will give us the answers. We will find out what happened to the Watchmen, what's been going on in DC Rebirth, and how Dr. Manhattan is involved. This is issue one. It was November 22nd, 1992, and the people of the world had a chance to start over. But they blew it. All of them. God had turned his back, leaving the world to its people, but maybe they can bring him back. Kicking and screaming because maybe they don't deserve it. Maybe the world should burn this time. The American dream was shattered, and this is the American nightmare now. The world has gone to hell. The vice president shooting and killing the attorney general. The collapse of the European Union allowed countries to invade one another. And all for the global manhunt of the self-proclaimed world's smartest man. Adrian Ozymandias. Russia is demanding the arrest and conviction of the United States government to absolve the accusations of conclusion in the New York massacre. The once celebrated costumed hero, Ozymandias, became a businessman and philanthropist after unmasking back in 1975. He is now charged with the murder of three million people and injuring tens of thousands more. There has been an investigation on who else may have been involved, but there have been no signs of Adrian's teammates, the so-called Watchmen, including the so-called American deterrent, Dr. Manhattan. With all of the chaos, the news outlets have been shut down and replaced with one centralized news organization the National News Network, and they've announced that they have reports that Russia is now invading Poland. With that act, the president has advised that if Russia does not withdraw within four hours, Russia will be met with the full force of the United States military might. Due to this, there has been a mandatory evacuation issued all across the country, and citizens are urged to gather their families and make their way to the designated red zones. Just as that news is spread to one of the jail systems, the officers begin to evacuate when one of the inmates grabs an officer demanding to be let out. Do not let him sit here and die. But before the inmate could do anything, someone reaches out, punting the officer and taking his keys. The inmate stares and Rorschach looks up asking, do you still want to come out? The inmate backs away telling him, no, no, I'm cool in here. Rorschach begins to walk away thinking to himself, pretty hungry. For being the last day on earth, I went to go get pancakes at Morning Joe's. They're the best in town. I even went to sit in Amy's section. She doesn't stare, always brings hot syrup. But this time, Amy's boyfriend came, dragged her out. The redhead that stares brought order instead. The syrup was cold, breakfast was ruined. Amy came back with bruises, split lip. So I went and found the boyfriend, broke his hands, and put a fork through his tongue. Though, I forgot to tell him why. Hopefully he got the message. Rorschach continues to walk down the halls until he reaches cell 31, and he uses the guard's keys to open the door. Erica scoots back, telling him that it can't be. He said that he would throw her down an elevator shaft the next time that they met. Rorschach laughs. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Wasn't me. Not same guy. Erica shouts, prove it. And Rorschach sighs, groaning. I'm tired of proving. And he begins to slip off his glove. He shows her his hand. Shows him a different skin color. Rorschach was pale white. And Erica tells him, you're out of your mind dressing like that. Rorschach pulls out an envelope from his jacket telling her, I'm Rorschach. And here's your payment for a job. Erica takes the envelope and asks why it's all sticky. And Rorschach tells her, it's syrup. Rough morning. As Erica begins to pull out the contents, her eyes widen as she looks at a picture of her young son. Rorschach says, Come with me to do this job. Payment will be to find out where the boy is. Deal? Erica lunges at Rorschach, asking where is her son, and Rorschach calmly tells her, Don't yell. I don't know, but my partner does. Now we have to go find God and save the world. Erica asks, What is that even supposed to mean? And Rorschach says, Partner will explain. We have to go. Watch is running slow, so... As Erica lets go, she says that she's not going anywhere unless they bring her husband. Rorschach tells her, no, he's a bad man, not part of the deal. Erica then huddles, looking at the picture, and Rorschach says, fine, Marcos Mies, the mime, where is he? Back out of the cell block, one of the inmates manages to get out of their cell when they spot Marco, not moving or saying a word as he stares at them. One of the inmates takes the guard's keys and opens the cell, asking what is his problem, and Marco doesn't respond, and he continues to sit in silence. The inmates grab him, and they begin to punch him, telling him to say something, and then Erica calls to him that they are leaving. Marco looks up, and Erica tells him that she knows that he's in the middle of a performance, but they have to go. Without saying a word, Marco begins to beat the inmates, punching and kicking, and even taking a bite out of one of them. As the last inmate falls, Marco holds his arms out, and he poses, smiling for the crowd. 
Once Erica lets Marco out, he begins patting his chest, and Erica says that they can't go until Marco gets his weapons. They're very special weapons. Marco leads them to the evidence lockers where his stuff was taken, and he opens up a door. He reaches in, putting on his invisible belts, and he grabs his invisible gun. And Rorschach tells him, you've got some problems. Once Marco is suited up, Rorschach begins to walk the two of them into the sewers, but Rorschach stops when he comes to two pathways. He says, I don't really remember. Was it left or right? Erica and Marcos look at each other, and Marcos takes out his gun and points it towards Rorschach. Rorschach looks at him and back at his watch, telling him, Do not point imaginary guns at me. It wasn't funny the first time. After a few moments, Rorschach says, It is right, that's right. Then Marcos holsters his gun, and him and Erica follow behind. As Rorschach reaches a pair of giant metal doors, he knocks, and the doors slowly begin to creak open. The three walk in as Rorschach begins to pull back a set of curtains, and Erica shouts that that's the Owl ship. This must be Night Owl's place, right? Where is he? Or... Are the rumors true? Rorschach tells her, What do you mean? And Erica tells him, The rumors that Rorschach killed the Night Owl and Silk Spectre before offing himself. He went totally nuts, so that means that he's alive. And a voice tells her, No, he's not. Ozymandias, Adrian, walks out telling them, I'd hoped to lure Night Owl back, but he's retired. So, Rorschach's now working for me. Marcos tosses a screwdriver into the air, and Erica grabs it, holding it to Adrian's throat, telling him that if he doesn't tell them where their son is, she's going to kill him in The Pretender. Or maybe her and Marcos will take him and collect the bounty. What's his head worth now? 10, 20 million? Adrian laughs, pushing the screwdriver away, telling her, I'm pretty sure it's quite a bit more at this point, but no more threats. They are ill-advised. Adrian walks over to Rorschach, stating, The first Rorschach was an interesting man, cruel in some respects, but someone who held onto his principles. This one! As Adrian reaches out, he grabs onto Rorschach's arm, and Rorschach tells him, Shut up. I am Rorschach. Nothing more to tell. Adrian tells him, I didn't mean to upset you. And Rorschach looks at Adrian's hand, telling him, I'm not upset. Not yet. Erica breaks them up, asking, Why is it that you're here? Rorschach said something about finding God. Adrian tells her that that's what Rorschach calls it, but he assumes that they know what he did. Erica says, yeah, everyone knows that you did. You staged an attack to bring the entire world together, and now the world knows that you staged it. It wasn't an invasion. Adrian begins to explain that it took a lifetime to conceive and orchestrate. For a moment, there was hope. But even the greatest empire's decay, the very name that he took was a testament to that. There's no escaping the irony he found himself laughing uncontrollably when he first... Adrian stops mid-sentence, groaning, and Erica asks what is wrong with him. Rorschach tells her, he's an asshole. And Adrian follows up, telling him, yes, but I also have cancer, and it's spreading. Another reminder of my mistake. Though I cannot save the world, there is one who has the power too, that is Dr. Manhattan. This is our mission, all of us. We need to find John. Meanwhile... Over in Metropolis in the DC Universe, Clark Kent suddenly wakes up from a nightmare and Lois jumps up asking if he's okay. He tells her that he was having a dream that he was in high school, and he heard tires screeching. Ma screamed and Pa gritted his teeth. It was the night that his parents died. Lois comforts him, telling him that she can't remember the last time that he had a nightmare, and Clark tells her that that's just it. He's pretty sure that he's never had one. And there you have it, the conclusion to issue one. Now you're probably wondering how we're going to be releasing more of the Doomsday Clock videos. Well, they're going to get one issue every month. So what we're going to do is release the last issue on the day of the release of the new issue. So today, issue two is out. When we do issue two, issue three will be out. We'll keep it relatively simple like that. So if you're excited, you can go get the next issue right away. Don't forget, though, this is a monthly series. We're going to be trying our best. If you want to get more Watchmen from us, check out this link over here. If you want to get more DC Rebirth, check out this link over here. And if you want more Comic Storian, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Kapow!